Hello, my name is Aaron Sini. I grew up in, in Washington State and, and lived there for the first 18 years of my life. And then I had the opportunity to attend college in Chicago. Uh, after graduating from college, I uh, also had the chance to teach at an international school in Daegu, South Korea. It was a kind of a small school, but I, I really enjoyed teaching. I planned to stay there for two years and I ended up staying for five. After I met my wife, met and married my wife in 2005, uh, I taught at the university level for about uh, six years, teaching English conversation. We returned to the US in 2014, and I found a job in Bakersfield, California, uh, where I was working as a youth pastor in a Korean church. Currently, I am working on becoming an English teacher at the high school level. And as you can see in the picture, there's my wife and my two kids. I have twins, Jonathan and Stacy. They're just about to enter junior high. My research topic is entitled Engaging Introverted ELL Students. As an introvert myself, I want to help students feel comfortable with their personality and maximize their strengths. Uh, in many ways today, being an extrovert is considered the ideal. Uh, but those who are introverted, who gain energy from solitude and being by themselves, uh, are, are often considered either there's a problem with them or that they're just not adjusted well. So I want to help them, first of all, to understand that their personality is not bad or wrong. And second, to maximize the way that their strength can help them to study and especially to learn language. I have two research questions about this. Number one, does being an introverted ELL student impact achievement? And the second question is, what accommodations and instructional strategies are most effective in teaching introverted ELL students. In order to find the answers to those questions, I wanted to look at current research in the field of education dedicated to introverts and language learning. I also planned to have ELL students at the ninth grade level uh, at a local high school take a learning style personality survey to determine whether they are introverted or extroverted. Based on those findings, I would have 10 to 20 introverted students participate along with their content teachers in a study to see if the accommodations that are tried bring them more success. Some of those accommodations that I might suggest would be to, to give students a topic ahead of time they can think about it and then respond or to provide some online discussion questions rather than having to discuss in front of the whole class. At the end of the research, students and teachers would complete an exit survey and, com and I would compile the results to see what, what could be learned from the study. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, take much advantage from my critical friend. However, I did contact the librarian, uh, the National University Librarian, and I did get a lot of uh, useful tips uh, and in searching online and through the library. I used journal, journal articles and online resources. Much of the research that I found was research done overseas in countries where students were learning English as a second language. In China, uh, there were some in Taiwan and, and different other places. Uh, there wasn't much research that had been done in the United States with ELLs regarding introversion. And also I didn't find really very much at the high school level. 
So again, I, I mentioned a little bit of this, but my methodology would first of all to be to gain permission from school, the school administration, teachers and students. Uh, after having the students uh, complete style analysis survey with language accommodations if necessary, if they needed to be in Spanish or another language, I'll try to accommodate them. Uh, once those once students are determined whether they are introverted or extroverted, I will seek permission from them at least 10 to participate in the study. Uh, I would also contact the students' content teachers to see if they will participate as well. Uh, and the, their participation would simply be to, to pay attention to these introverted students, uh, to take some of the suggestions for accommodations that I give them, and to just track to see if there's any changes or uh, anything different about how they react over the 12 weeks. And after 12 weeks of instruction, the students will complete an exit survey to determine if, uh, from their perspective if there were any positive or negative changes. Uh, the participating teachers will also provide feedback and constructive criticism and those results the both the teachers and student feedback will be compiled and insights and discoveries will be recorded if i could go back and a couple weeks about eight weeks ago actually and talk to myself i would first of all tell myself that to dig deeper into the current research. Uh, I think I just skimmed the surface of what is out there. There's a lot of research that is available and I should have gone a little bit deeper. Second, uh, I should have limited my research topic much sooner. I was attempting in the beginning to deal with both introverts and extroverts, uh, but the focus has always been more on the introverts so I should have limited that at the beginning. And so what's next? Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be doing student teaching uh, starting this coming week. However, I still haven't received an assignment yet, so I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, if that does happen, I'm going to graduate in December. And uh, if all works well, Shortly after that, I will get hired as an English teacher at the high school level. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to get teaching.